I'm Ashton Addison from BlockWest Capital for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have back Marcus Levin, co founder of XYO Network. Marcus, welcome to the show, and it is a pleasure to have XYO back on once again. Yeah, Ashton, thank you so much for, for inviting me again on XYO again. Uh, I just reviewed the podcast. Uh, uh, you did with our team a few years back, and it, it's amazing, you know, like where this podcast ha has has come to, and uh, we're excited to be back on the show. Amazing, thank you. And yeah, a lot has happened in years, and that is like decades in crypto. I'm sure right. your team has a lot to talk about, and that was even before you know DeFi and NFTs even exi uh, existed in the mainstream. So let's just start by catching up uh, with XYO Network. For the viewers that aren't familiar, let's get an overview of what are the solutions your team are bringing to the world, and then we'll dive into the intricacies in that. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to talk about it. Yeah, so when we, we lots of has evolved since since the last conversation XYO had had with you, but uh, uh, you know, like we started in 2012 as location IoT, and then in 2017. We realize location gets easily spoofed to hack. So you can download the GPS spoofing app, right? And pretend that you are in San Diego right now while you're actually in Barcelona, let's say. And that's a problem for any second app on your phone or uh, automated supply chain, self driving cars, smart cities, and you name it. So we came up with a XL network, which is a network of devices which verify each other's proximity, mm -hmm. uh, IoT devices, and uh, then that way, and then they, they do a, like a cryptographic handshake, you call it a bound witness, and this way you can say where something was, and or where its origin was, and uh, where it's ended up. And uh, so that was uh, 2018. And then now it's 2022. So since then, the actual network evolved, and uh, it became a, a true Oracle network, not only for location, but uh, also for other data, like uh, other IoT data, for example, like temperature sensors and so on, or offline data, which is collected and, and verified, and any, any type of, of data, really. And uh, today, we, we are more, uh, we call it a reality oracle, uh, connecting uh, the physical world with the digital world in, in a trustless way. Mm, very cool, Marcus. And thank you for that intro. A lot to dive into there. Um, I, I like how it's expanded into an oracle, um, and it has more use cases there. Now, I want to talk about there's so many different applications that can be used in different industries uh, with this technology. Are you already working in the field uh, with other industries, you know, outside of blockchain to, to, to mm -hmm. provide these solutions right now? Yeah, yeah. We, we have a bunch of clients. We're a little different than, than lots of other blockchain projects in that we focus uh, on our client base, not only on, on blockchain companies, but uh, on, on traditional companies. And so our industrial market is, is, is very large. And uh, we have a number of uh, partners in, in a different industry. We just announced a new partnership with Here Technologies, one of the largest geolocation companies in the world. And we have a number of other partnerships. Some of them we can't talk about yet, but uh, it's going to be ex super exciting. And uh, we are, it makes us different also because our underlying company is profitable, not from crypto, but from doing what we're doing. So we, we really build something which <laughs> which the, re the real world uh, needs. Amazing. And that's great to hear. Uh, profitability is important for, for growing and, and moving forward. Uh, now, I wanted to talk about you know the hardware. You, you mentioned you know having specific hardware and, and having a blockchain-like network to be able to verify the transactions and, and cryptographically mm -hmm. prove it, um, because I have seen many you know, GPS spoofing applications and, you know, I've seen my friends playing video games and they're moving to another location to, especially now um, in some of these virtual reality or AR games, you need to be in a specific location to get some kind of pr real world prize or real world money and people are easily able to spoof that um, right. and, and hack the game. Um, and, and, but that's, you know, there's obviously much more important use cases for, for the real world. Um, about proving your location. And I'd love to know more about the hardware and, and what makes it unique and, and how you guys came up with it in, in solving this problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what you mentioned it is a real problem, you know, and as, as you said, if you think about the future in, in the metaverse and so on, right, you want to have accurate data and, and accurate ownership of, of items or, or 
um, or accurate location of, of, of things, right, inside the metaverse. And uh, the more value you attach to location, the more people are incentivized to, to spoof and hack, right, because there's money there. And so it, it goes beyond the game to, to a lot of applic applications, right? But uh, yeah, when we started in 2018, uh, I went to all these IoT companies or companies with, with a lot of IoT and tried to convince them to upgrade their the firmware and add XYO into their firmware. And so for them to become sentinels in the XYO network, how it works, uh, we have like these four components in the XYO network, the sentinels, which are devices which collect data, the bridges which relay the data, the archivist stores the data, and the diviner crunches the data to give you the best answer to a given question like, did my package make it onto my doorstep? And those devices get paid with XYO as they provide data which becomes part of, of answers. And uh, XYO is our cryptocurrency. And uh, so I went to all these companies and, and tried to convince them to, to upgrade the firmware to add XYO for, you know, then eventually they will earn money and have additional revenue streams and so on. But obviously it was very hard, right? It was like the Comcast and because the SK Telecom, you know, it's the Verizon of South Korea and like many, many companies and uh, got to some proof of concept type promises, but it, those are slow companies. So we decided to create our own IoT network. And we did this by launching an app called Coin. And Coin is an augmented reality gamified utility app, which lets you earn rewards as you explore the world. And uh, um, it has more than 4 million downloads uh, out there and we had suddenly have this super large network and we are one of the largest blockchain networks in the world. And we did it by creating something which is interesting not only for the crypto crowd like you and me, but also for and your listeners, but also for uh, like people who are not into crypto yet and uh, they have a way to earn rewards and, and so on and so on. And so it, in the beginning in the app, it was all passive. So in the background, there were these bound witnesses I spoke about earlier. And now you can do much more. You can do location-based surveys and can provide other data. You can do offline data collection. And there's lots of ways to earn. You have this uh, case study on our website of uh, 500 users which used the app over, over the last few years. And uh, they earned together until the end of August. That's when we published that case study, uh, $24 million because uh, XYL token appreciated so much because I think 560x last year. And this one person who has like $1.9 million in the wallet, another guy he paid off his mortgage, someone else bought a new car, someone went on a delayed honeymoon, and like these crazy stories. And uh, it, it's so we, we, we built this on ramp into crypto. Like about 80% of the people who come into coin are non crypto people. And but 95% of people come and cash out their XYO, and then a lot of them hold it and, and, and buy more. And uh, it's a way, it's a play to earn, maybe work to earn or gig to earn. I'm not sure what the right term is there. And uh, But also it, it creates a lot of exposure for, for XYO and it creates resiliency for the network because uh, it's not only, uh, it, it expands this ecosystem just a lot. And so the, the, as the economy of XYO grows, right, the, the token price should, should grow there as well. Like uh, you get uh, uh, a little tangent <laughs> from the traditional companies. Obviously, a lot of them want to pay us in US dollars or, or other fiat, right? And uh, mm -hmm. it's difficult for them to for them to pay us in XYO because of internal controls and so on. And we don't want to scare them. So they give us US dollars. We go and, and we buy XYO in the market and, and put it into the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And so these constant buys right, have an effect, as, especially as the network gets larger and larger and larger. Very cool. And that's incredible to hear the success of, of the people using the coin app, Marcus. So congratulations on, on that. And, and also just getting people that aren't in cryptocurrency uh, involved into decentralized networks. So I, I think it's a super important way and whatever way you can uh, do it, whether it's through a game or through an app, and, and people then realize the potential of uh, these innovations and, and how powerful they can become as you continue to grow out. Yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. And, and uh, it's the, a lot of crypto is it's just hard to understand for lots of people. And that's why people listen to your podcast, I think, right? And 
tried to make the coin up, but so easy that uh, really anyone can can be part of, of crypto. When you even when you withdraw your XYO, you have an option to withdraw to your ESC20 wallet or to just uh, withdraw to your Coinbase email address. Mm. So if you have your a Coinbase account and, and it matches the email address you can, of the account, then you can uh, just withdraw it. So it's a fee-free withdrawal. And it's, you see it automatically in your Coinbase account. And then we actually provide interest on your XYO holdings in your Coinbase account by doing something like but there's an OAuth, so people give us the ability to read the XYO balance, uh, uh, some of the users, and uh, then we give them interest on the XYO balance in Coinbase. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So we make it super easy. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, Marcus. And uh, I'm really glad that, you know, since we last spoke, you developed this app, got so much more people into crypto. Um, but and with the help of NFTs and DeFi, I feel like a lot of people who weren't interested in digital assets mm -hmm. before and, and decentralized networks are now getting involved. And I'm curious, in 2022 and in the present moment, what are the main focuses for you and for XYO Network in continuing to grow out the network of XYO throughout this year? Is it are you trying to balance through through the app and the software and through the IoT devices as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We we launched XO 2.0 uh, three weeks ago or four weeks ago, and it's uh, it's a much easier way for someone to be part of the network. So it's a whole new way to to look at our technology, and make it faster, more reliable, and much cheaper. And uh, so we did that, and, and there's iterations uh, of that coming in, in 22. Then, then we're going to do some work on XYO World. XYO World is a, is a NFT game we launched two years ago, I think, which is uh, your own tiles of the world, basically, and, and uh, we're going to build more underlying gamification uh, for XYO World and make it faster. Right now it's on Ethereum, so it's, it's a little stuck. <laughs> and... Uh, and um, yeah, and then obviously we're gonna keep growing the network and have uh, more partnerships and more more things happening, and more listings and and whatever. And then uh, our company uh, XFA Labs uh, is gonna list on the T zero ATS probably in Q two. Um, so uh, um, T zero and ATS. For, it's, uh, it's pretty new. So in America, you have the national exchanges like NYSE, NASDAQ, and so on. And I need to have the alternative trading systems, which are like a normal market. It's like bid and ask and, and so on, but you don't need to do an IPO and do quarterly filings and, and those kinds of things enough to do the filings. We do anyways as a company uh, because we did uh, a certain kind of offering, the Regulation A offering. And so we come with our share, we are going to be the seventh or eighth listed asset on the T0 ATS. And we are very excited about that because it's going to bring, uh, uh, you know, allow our XYO holders to become shareholders as well. We have over 24,000 of them already, but uh, more shareholders and it, it's people can really be part of, of everything in, in a way. Mm -hmm. That's incredible mm -hmm. to hear. And I've been hearing about T0 as an up and coming exchange looking for more blockchain and, and uh, decentralized platforms to that are doing securities offerings to get on there and uh it, it's been a long time coming and i'm glad yeah. to see it that moving into fruition you know i remember talking to t0 in, in 2018 around uh -huh. when we last spoke and they're talking about how we're gonna get all of these blockchain projects you know with regulated listings so congratulations on that i'm looking forward to seeing uh more on on that um and i'd love to hear and for the viewers as well, about more of a long-term vision or mid to long long-term, since crypto moves so quickly. You know, in in three to five years, uh, where do you hope XYO Network to be? You know, in the throughout the blockchain industry and just throughout the world industry. Yeah, uh, that's a good question. I think uh, as as you have proven now uh, that we ha we have our data tentacles really anywhere we hope to be even more connected like grab more data from any device and that have a, a larger network and then connect that with a more and more interconnected world if you like i mentioned the metaverse in, in the beginning but connected with metaverse and, and databases smart contracts and 
B, the eminent data source, trustless data source, which connects all, all of this. And uh, we are on, on such an amazing trajectory already to be there. And, and it's, it's very easy to see that we're going to be that company. Amazing. I have confidence that you will, Marcus. Um, Thank you. For, for the viewers that are looking to follow along uh, with XYO Network for, for that launch and just to learn about the coin app and just about the intricacies of, of the IoT network, what is the best way for them to learn more and to get involved in the communities? Yeah, join our Twitter. Uh, just Google XYO Twitter, you will find it, or our Discord. Um, and there, our team, we have an amazing uh, team there which uh, answers any questions you, you might have. and. Uh, of course, check out xyo.network, the, the website, and, and you find lots of information and all the links to the socials that's on there as well. And then, uh, yeah. Okay. Sounds great, Marcus. I will leave those links in the description box below as well to make it easy for the viewers. I really Thank appreciate you. you coming on. It's a pleasure to have you back on the show. Um, impressed with all that the growth that XYO Network has had since we last spoke and looking forward to uh, following up again in the near future. Awesome. Thank you so much for inviting me, Ashley. Bye.